but I had to pick my top five favorite free OS X apps. And starting at number five is Disk Inventory X. I don't know if you've used this one before. Oh, yes, I have. So if you've got like a full hard drive and you want to know where all that space went, using Disk Inventory X will help you map out all your data that's sitting there on your hard drive. And it does it in a nice color-coded way. Why do I have this giant? I have three copies of all of my iTunes files. It's like, what? that's weird. Where did that come from? So yeah, you can see exactly what type of file is in each location. You can see where on your hard drive this stuff is actually stored. Because so you you're always like, where go did to it my easily. hard drive go? And this mm -hmm. makes it a visual tool. It's just right. it's awesome. So you can see like, oh, geez, like one third of my entire hard drive is being taken up by Three sets iPhoto, of the same MP3s. Or like, you know, all the photos they have stored on there. It was actually using Disk Inventory S that I, X that I realized I should move my iPhoto library to an external hard drive. So very helpful. And it looks pretty cool, too. Number four would be Carbon Copy Cloner. We've, of course, talked about this app about a million gazillion times. So it definitely deserves a place on this list. You can create bootable backups, schedule tasks, and all at really good speeds. Um, I think anyone who watches the show could probably figure that this was going to be on the list. So if you we'll move yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, Smoltron is my Small favorite tes uh, text editing app. Ooh. Unfortunately, the developer is no longer adding to it. He's no oh. longer working on it, so this Maybe is the last a, release. Is it perfect already? I think it's pretty good. You can use it for coding, or you can just use it for random text editing. Um, I use it constantly. Everything I write for the show, I do in Smoltron before mm -hmm. I copy it into our, our, you know, our regular software that we use, just so I have a backup of it, just in case. Cool. So it's a great app, um, and of course, it's free. You can do a lot with it, too. You can do like shortcuts, and it does a lot of uh, uh, line numbering, so it's great if you're coding and doing HTML stuff. Quicksilver is the first application that I install on any new Mac or on anyone else's that I'm working on, for that matter. This is a, this is not just an application; it is a lifestyle. It is a definitely lifestyle a lifestyle. I have to say, between Quicksilver and uh, Text Expander, mm -hmm. which is not free but I use all the time as well, um, it makes using your computer just a total breeze, and it's super intuitive. Um, I use it as an application launcher, but you can also use it to make edits to text files or even send emails. It does all sorts of quirky little stuff. Merlin Mann is kind of the god of Quicksilver. He knows all the crazy tips on 43 folders. How what? does it work? How does it work? Yeah. Um, well, you set up hotkeys. So you can do like I use. I think I use Option Spacebar to launch it, and then you just start typing in the first few letters of the application you want to launch. And up it comes. So I just do. I hit S. I do like, you know, hit the spacebar, hit S, and then Safari launches. Cool. If I I don't use Safari so much these days, but you know what I mean. I would. Do. It works really really well. Um, once you get accustomed to using it, it's really hard to give it up or use a computer without it for sure. And then number one lately for me anyway is Chromium. <laughs> Really? Chromium. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with Safari lately, so I decided to give Chromium a chance. Yeah. It's my new browser of choice, temporarily at least, and it's fast, fast, fast. Now, it's a little bit unstable because it is. Aren't we all? <laughs> it's it's kind of like what WebKit is to Safari, that Chromium is to Chrome. So it's 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 still being worked on all the time. It's open source. And is it being done by people inside of Google or outside? Because it's basically it's based on Chrome. No, Chrome is it's it's kind of like the it's it's Chrome is more is based on on Chromium, which is like the WebKit. Oh really? Yeah. I'm with you now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I get a little bit confused with this kind of stuff sometimes, but that, it's that was OS my 10. understanding. <laughs> yeah, and it runs on OS 10, and there isn't there. I think there's a beta of Chrome that's mm -hmm. available now, but it's kind of a little bit hard to find, and it's not very stable either. Um, but it's it, it doesn't have all the same end user features that you would expect from a Firefox or a Safari, but it works well. Right. I have some issues with Flickr and. Some issues with Facebook and I think a lot of the flash stuff gets a little wonky from time to time but it's a work in progress and so it updates and it's just nice to see it as it develops and it's also if you know if, you've, if you, it's an alternative to Firefox yeah I, you know, I, I got over Firefox pretty quickly because I just I had a tendency to add too many add-ons to it and extensions and stuff, and then it got <laughs> all bloated, and the weight. memory leakage drove me nuts. And now right. Safari is doing a lot of the same kind of getting bogged down. Safari drives me insane. These I've days. been getting the spinning beach ball of death constantly <laughs> with Safari. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden it went from working great. You know, when the Safari 4 beta came out, mm -hmm. I was like, I love Safari. Safari is awesome. Why didn't I use Safari all the time? And then. When it became like the the regular release, it just yeah. I've been amazed actually. Oh, it's been killing everything. Is Flash, especially Flash video. My these days. Flash crashes all the time. What is with the Flash plugin? What? What is with that? Yeah, it's free, but it's pissing us off. Adobe, we love you, but make Flash run better. 
What's hey. with the flash in the computer? <laughs> you like my Seinfeld imitation? It's a scary no? thought. Sorry. You have to slide in like, uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs>